My name is Diana and I am the Wandering Sewist. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my very first YouTube video, so I have some notes down here that I'm going to be looking at to make, keep me on track and keep me in my time. Um, I am wearing a Marnie top in white linen. You can tell that it's linen because of the wrinkles. I did the pin tucks here in the front and on the sleeve here. And I just made it short sleeved and use some binding around the bottom of the sleeves. And I am on the bottom, I am wearing uh, Mountain View pull-on jeans that I made into shorts. And with all the pockets, they're wonderful. They're so, they're so comfortable. And they have the added benefit of that factor of pulling me in. Mm -hmm. So um, I love my Mountain View jeans wearing them as shorts. Why am I wearing a short sleeve shop top and shorts? Well, because I live in Africa. Um, right now, our home is in uh, South Africa, the capital city. And uh, it's, um, it's a long explanation. Obviously, I'm an American living in South Africa, and I'll explain more as we go along. But first, I wanted to talk to you about my current project. My current project is another Marnie top that I am currently making from double gauze. So this is what I have so far. It's this beautiful mauve colored double gauze. And I opted not to do the pin text for this one. I'm just making the plain bodice, but I wanted to do the ruffle collar. And I'm putting the shoulder ruffle in for that one. All I have left to do is um, the sleeves and the hem. And I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do short sleeves or three quarter lengths or long sleeves. Um, I figured I'd make that decision when I came to it. But I love the Marnie. It's, it's comfortable, it's breezy, and the construction is incredible. The instructions with the pattern are wonderful. I, I just, I love the Marnie top. I can't rave about it enough. Um, so why am I called, why do I call myself the wandering sewist? Well, as I said before, I live in South Africa for now because my husband, um, my husband's work is here and we've lived in several other countries before. We lived in Russia for two years and we lived in Germany for two years and now we've been living in South Africa for three years because my husband's job. Um, so since we're talking about Africa, I wanna tell you a little bit about South Africa. So right now, South Africa is in the Southern Hemisphere. So we are just ending summer and going into autumn here. But it's still sunny and beautiful and warm outside. Um, the weather here is pretty much sunny, beautiful, and warm year-round um, in the summer, which is like December, January, February, it, it gets hot. And in the winter, which is like Ju June, July, August, September, it's just warm. But it gets cold in the morning and the evening, but it's warm during the day. Blue skies, sunshine year-round, so hence the short sleeves and the shorts, because um, it's just too warm to bundle up in long things, pretty much year round for me. So um, let's talk a little bit about the fabric that's available in Africa. So there's um, local uh, fabrics that the African people wear, and it's called shwe shwe. And I recently went to stock up on a bunch of shwe shwe because I like to make um, wallets and handbags out of shui shui. This is a, some orange shui shui that I picked up. Orange is my favorite color. So I picked up some orange shui shui and made myself a necessary clutch wallet. 
Um, I can't remember who it's, Emmeline Bags. And this is the uh, Kennedy bag from um, So Sweetness. I just took off some of the buckles and details that I, I didn't want because I didn't want it to look like a messenger bag. I wanted it to look like a handbag. So I kept some of the details. But So I like to make handbags out of the shui shui because it's a really thick, good quality fabric. So I'm gonna show you some that I picked up. So here we go. This one is blue with some orange detail. And you can see when it's, it's a wax print. So when you get it, it's a very stiff fabric. So this one, orange and blue, I'm in love with orange and blue, orange and teal, all of those combinations. This one is a red, large scale print that would be great for a big bag. And then this one for a smaller bag. And then <laughs> another large scale print much brighter, wonderful colors with the red and the gold and the blue. Incredible. I love the bright colors available in the African prints. They're just so incredible. This is the, the next one I'm going to show you is the same print as this one, but in the green colorway. Green colorway with gold. Love it. And then I got some larger um, cuts. So each of these are two meters. And then these that I have here are six meter cuts. And they're, this is a giant flower print. It's incredible. And I was thinking this is begging to be a skirt, a full length skirt. Because what top could you not wear with this particular print? It's beautiful. The orange and blue combination. I'm a sucker for orange and blue. Orange, you can see here, orange is my favorite color. I love it. Um, this one is another six meter cut. And it's very bright. Love this one. And then my very, very favorite one of the um, shui shui that I got is I've unfolded this one so I could look at it in more detail before. So this one is this print. Let me just, there we go. How incredible is this print? It is so beautiful. I love this one. I'm not sure what I can make with that one, but it's gonna be something amazing. Okay, so those are my African prints. I have more fabric to show you, but I wanna tell you something in first. So why did I start sewing? I haven't been sewing very long. It's sewing garments very long. I always dabbled in a little bit of quilting my whole life, but, um, Last year, our family had a very horrendous tragedy. And um, I found sewing to be a, a place of peace and solace for me. It was um, a place where I could forget about life and move into focusing on a creative outlet. And I found that it, it gave me a respite from what was going on in my, in our family's life and gave me a, a chance to rest from it. So I started sewing garments every day that I could sit down and sew garments. Um, I, and it's addicting. Once you start, you don't want to stop. And I, I sew every day if I can. Um, I feel like my day has not been worthwhile if I don't sew. I watch all the sewing YouTubers. It's amazing. It's amazing community. It's an amazing place to be. Um, 
So why did I start making YouTube video? Why am I making YouTube videos? Why am I starting to make YouTube videos? Because of the community, the sewing community. Um, it's so incredible. It's so wonderful. I, I wanted to contribute my little piece of the sewing world to the community, maybe make some friends along the way, be part of um, the incredible sewing community that I'm always watching on YouTube. And um, I've, I've always said to myself, I want to be part of that. And since I live most of my days um, isolated because I don't live in America, I live in other countries, um, I don't have my family around me. I don't have my, my church community around me. I don't have... Um, I don't have that, that everyone in America gets to have. So um, I wanted to be part of the sewing community. So that's why I'm here. Um, now I wanna show you the rest of my fabric haul that I bought this, this last week. Um, is these are all viscose because it's a hot place and I need fabric that will breathe. So this first print is a beautiful, orange and teal large scale print orange and teal is my very favorite thing i love the orange and teal combination and it's a beautiful the hand is so cool and the it's a beautiful drapey fabric and i have um, four meters of this so i could make any dress that i wanted to make whatever length i wanted to make whatever sleeves i wanted to make do you have a suggestion of a beautiful pattern to go with this? I don't have too many patterns because I haven't been sewing for very long. So if you have a suggestion for a pattern for this, I would love to hear about it in the comments. The next one that I found is a gorgeous pink viscose with daisies. Now, I didn't used to love daisies, but daisies were my daughter's favorite flower. And um, if you just do a little bit of research on YouTube about me and my daughter, you will find out why this is so important to me. So I wanted to make a dress in honor of her with this beautiful fabric. If you have a suggestion for a dress for this fabric, I would love to hear about it. Okay, the next one is sunflowers. I know exactly what I wanna make with this one. This beautiful sunflower viscose. Look at that drape. And the hand is so lovely. I wanna make another Marnie with this one. I think this would be an amazing as a Marnie, don't you think? I haven't decided if I should do the pin tucks with it or not. Would the Pintex ruin the flowers? Hmm, what do you think? Pintex or no Pintex? Let me know what you think. Okay, the next one, I didn't realize until just before I started making the video, when I was in the shop, I was looking at this fabric and I didn't realize that it has shiny on it until I saw it in the natural light here at home. But I don't know if you can see, probably can't, but it's a linen viscose blend. So it has more, more structure to it. And it has a little bit of a sheen, a glitter to the, um, the skin color part. This is all my favorite things in a fabric. Look, look at that. It's gonna look amazing. And I, I have four meters of this, so I can make any dress that I wanna make. Um, since it has the shine, it probably needs to be a bit more of a dressy dress. Um, what do you think? What should I make? I would love to know. And then, uh -huh, uh -huh, I got the most incredible double gauze. I, I just, I saw this and I just, I had to buy it. And I got three and a half meters of this incredible double gauze. Again, it's the orange and teal combination. <laughs> I cannot resist it. It's so beautiful. 
and it's so cool, but it has so much cushiony body. And I want to make a summer dress, a, a breezy, loose fitting, you know, like a buffet dress, but shorter, like knee length. But I don't know what pattern to use. I would love to hear. What do you think? What pattern would make the, a beautiful, breezy summer dress from this double gauze? I love it so much. Okay. And then, you know me, my favorite color is orange. I've told you this before. <laughs> so I got an orange with white polka dots, little tiny ditzy white polka dots. I love this. I'm thinking this needs to be a shirt dress. What do you think? I think this needs to be a shirt dress. I have a pattern for a shirt dress that I got from, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a Mimi G simplicity pattern. Um, I'll, I'll put it in, I'll put a picture of it in, but it's a Mimi G simplicity pattern for a shirt dress. I think I might use that one. I'll have to retrace it off though, because the last, when I made it a year ago, I weighed 50 pounds more than I do now because the tragedy that our family went through made me lose a bunch of weight. And um, there's videos out there on YouTube from other YouTubers interviewing me to talk about that. So if you're interested, I'm sure you could find it. Um, the last, the last one that I got at the store is one that I want to create some drama. So I got five meters of this because it's directional and it's orange and black. And I thought I need a dress that will have drama because the print has drama. So I wanted a dress that would show off the print to its most, you know, with a big skirt and a, a, like a fitted bodice and some statement sleeves. Um, this needs to be a dramaful dress because look at that. I'll do it the right way up. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh. I can't get over this one. I love it so much. Oh, I love all these fabrics. Um, isn't collecting fabric another hobby in addition to sewing the fabrics? <laughs> I found that it is. Oh. So, um, yeah, since I'm such a beginner, you know, I've only been at uh, sewing garments for about a year. Um, I don't really... I'm not really good at matching the right pattern to the right fabric. So someone, some of you wonderful sewists out there um, have a little more experience. I would appreciate you giving me some suggestions on what patterns I could, I could match with these beautiful fabrics that I found. All right. Um, I appreciate you tuning in to watch my video, please remember to like and subscribe and give me suggestions down in the comments below on matching these. I appreciate you and I love the sewing community and I can't wait to talk to you again. Bye.